Let's take a moment and we'll check out the Bluetooth settings on Pioneer's AVH290BT. So right now I have this Nexus 5 phone connected to the head unit. I know I have a phone connected because I can see the Bluetooth logo right here is lit up in blue. So I'll touch the gears up here and I want to go to the Bluetooth settings, but look, that's grayed out. I can't get to the Bluetooth settings, so I have to engage the parking brake. Okay, once we engage the parking brake, the Bluetooth settings are available. First up is our connection setting. And you can see that we've had two different phones connected to this head unit. Right now, the uh, Bluetooth logo is beside the Nexus phone. That's the active phone that is connected. But we also had an iPhone 5 connected. And if you wanted to delete a phone off this list, you can do that by touching the trash can here and deleting that phone. Let's go back up. Next up is Auto Connect, and I have Auto Connect switched on. You can, if you want to, switch Auto Connect off. Auto Connect means when, after you have connected, after you have paired your phone to the head unit, and you take your vehicle for a ride, when you come back to the vehicle and restart it, the phone and the head unit find each other and automatically reconnect. That is Auto Connect. Most of the time you want to have that switched on, but you may not want to. Visibility is switched on. If you are searching from your phone for the radio and you can't find the radio, maybe you have the visibility switched off. You definitely want to have that switched on, especially for Auto Connect, you want visibility switched on. Next up is the PIN code input, and most, most modern phones will not require a PIN code uh, as a security code to input, but if you do, the default PIN code for this head unit is 0000, and if you want, you can change that PIN code to a different number. But again, most modern phones won't require a PIN code. Next up is our device information, and this tells you about this particular device, the name of the device when you're searching for it on your phone, and its Bluetooth address. Let's go back up. We'll scroll down here. Next up is auto answer. Auto answer means that when you get a phone call, it'll, the head unit will automatically answer the call. I usually like to check the caller ID before I answer, so I choose to keep auto answer off. You can switch it on if you want to. Next up is the ringtone. When you get an incoming call, your, head, your phone will ring and your head unit can ring as well. If you don't like the ring on the head unit, you can choose to switch it on or off right here. Next up is invert name, and this has to do with importing your phone book names over into the head unit. And depending on your phone type and how they're stored, they may not transfer, transfer properly, and you can invert those names, first name last, last name first, that sort of a thing with this function here. Next up is Bluetooth memory clear. If you just want to clear everything out of the Bluetooth memory in the head unit, you can do that with this function here. And finally, we have the Bluetooth software update. Right now, that is grayed out. Uh, if Pioneer issues a Bluetooth software update on pioneerelectronics.com, you can download that software update onto a USB thumb drive, install it into uh, the USB port. The USB port is on the back of this head unit, but we include a USB extension in the box. Plug it into the USB extension, and this software update will become available to update the Bluetooth software on the head unit. When you're done making these adjustments, you can just hit the X to escape.